Good morning, folks. Please allow me a quick update. We are seven days from the start of the Mobile Observatory project, June 14th in one week. I'll be the guest of the Miami Valley Astronomical Society for Apollo Rendezvous 2014 it's at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery in Dayton. Anyone close by is welcome and encouraged to come. You will need to register. Folks, we have dozens of set stops and dozens of cities that we're merely hoping to come through with or without a hosting venue. Come on over to observatoryproject.com. Our tentative schedule has been shifting around to meet the requests of our members. Two cities have already disappeared from the list because we got messages from a couple observers in a nearby city. Folks, this is your tour, your project. You made it happen, and we are twisting it to meet you. Now send my wife and I a bunch of emails telling us where we should go, especially if you know a venue we could use. Check out the venues we have on here so far. They're pretty diverse and pretty interesting. Can't wait to hear from you. Jumping right in. Top two earthquakes of the last day both rang as high as 6.0 on some meters, but the USGS has downgraded them both here. Middle East getting in the mix as well. Top solar story was an M-class solar flare that erupted from the delta spot we identified in yesterday's news. Within just a short while afterwards, the tropical storm formation likelihood ramped way up, but as of this morning it has calmed back down and we're less concerned about development at this location. There was not a large CME produced, but this is a good learning moment. Just by looking at SOHO, you'd think that there was an eruption. But it technically becomes visible before that flare even occurred, and in fact, it is a halo eruption going the opposite direction, visible on stereo B, having blasted off the sun on the side not facing Earth. We're now at Antarctica, where the strongest low pressure on Earth circles constantly. One of those lows is drawing a convergence that is cresting Perth in southwestern Australia now. Minor events remain to the east. The other storm zones don't change much. Slight shift to the South American flood zone here. African swath remains strong with the southeast coast appearing a bit under the gun. Wide area of moisture from India to China with serious precipitation potential remains. Eastern line sticking around in Europe as well, but now the North Atlantic low has broken for land and is immediately the top watch along the leading convergence line. North America. Storms and rain may trickle up north of the border into Canada, but in general, it's another storm watch to the south here. Eye your local warnings. Coming to space weather. You know it looks like ACE wants to tell us something, but we can't be sure. Let's go to the secondary solar wind readings from SOHO, and indeed, we see some rising density to the streams this morning. So far, it's nothing our shields can't handle, but remember, we have the plasma filament eruption heading our way and a coronal hole stream, too. Earth saw a gamma burst last night, first one in more than two weeks. The X-ray signatures are rising as well, but that's from our star and due to the delta spot we called out in the news. For comparison, we got a before and after to show the two days of sunspot growth. If it weren't for all signs pointing toward a weaker period of our star here, I'd be shocked the flaring hadn't gone even higher. Right now, all three trailing sunspot groups are young, spreading, growing, and trying to complex. However, the only one really succeeding at the moment is the same one we noted yesterday. Still a delta-class sunspot, still with positive and negative umbras mixed within the same penumbral zone. And speaking of magnetics, positive polarity overtakes our direction of the heliosphere here in the last day. Southern negative coronal hole is exiting while the trans-equatorial positive opening heads in. Indeed though, take a look, a late field surge has blocked a bit of the power and taken the force readings from well above average to just about middle of the road. We're watching for a return of that power and for more solar flares. Don't forget to go to observatoryproject.com. See the journey, get involved, make sure your city stays on the list. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open, no fear at 6.40 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.